morning gardeners. Ooh, look at that. That's how humid it is in Florida today. Don't know if it's from the hurricane or what, but it's pretty breezy too. Well, I wanted to give you a midweek update because I'm home waiting for a repair bin. But it looks like the humidity is going to get to us. The star of the week continues to be. <laughs> I don't know if I said what it was last time. Let's make sure that we've identified this plant. It has two blooms, as you can see. It's difficult not shooting into the sun. So that's what it is. Very subtle beauty. There's a lot of purple still. It continues and is still coming up. Yep, that's what's going on today. Except, let's check out these bubble phylum. I don't know about that one. First, I was worried about that one. This one's always seemed to do okay. But those were just little pieces that didn't fit in the other. But I do have some big news. Look what I got. Found a local plant grower, backyard grower. Yes. This is replacing that. I kind of knew it wasn't going to make it when I got it. It was a mail order. The new one is beautiful. But. I also have these two new ones. They are both in the bubble phylum family. I'll add what they are down here below. Well, I know one's called a red chunky or something. But I didn't purchase these. What I did is I had a start, well, I wouldn't even call it a start, a small plant of this. And I traded that for the two bubble phylum starts. I know there's something fascinating about bubble phylums to me. I actually ordered another one. I try not to add too many plants, only as one traded away or doesn't make it because I only have so much room on my screen porch. These guys are just so fascinating. I ended up ordering another one and it should be here around September the 9th. So I'll definitely have an unboxing of that one. Let's see how if that one came in healthy. So for now, just trying to get these two acclimated. And while this one's too big to hang, I still tried to put it somewhat in the same spot as the one I had for years was right above here. Which is now where I have another bubble fan. <laughs> But this is big. This isn't a big pot, as you can see. Here's just my hand. You can see how big it is. That's sturdy. It's pretty healthy. Where it came from was a little bit less covered than where it is now. That's why some of my plants don't have necessarily a lot of this kind of stuff because mine's more covered. Although some of mine have spent some time outside. But let's leave you with Mr. Bud Spins, who seems to be doing pretty well now. Not worried about him dying anymore. <laughs>